guys welcome back okay so i'm back again <laughs> pretty quick testing out another one of norvina's abh collection palettes this one of course is volume two yes i did go out of order i did play around with volume three before volume two but <laughs> i was just too excited about volume three but today is volume two day okay so as you can see very beautiful gorgeous packaging the same shape and style as the other two palettes i did do some looks with volume one so if you haven't checked those out go ahead and check them out i will link them above for you to look at if you're curious about volume one now volume two <laughs> this is what she looks like okay volume two is very blue heavy very blue heavy i knew it was blue heavy but not as much as it actually is until i started using it i was like oh there's another blue there's another blue there's another blue <laughs> so yeah this palette is really really pretty really pretty really nice gorgeous deeply pigmented shadows and some really pretty shimmers. I had the same situation with these shimmers as I had in volume three. Like I stated, I feel like they are very, pressed very hard in the pan, okay? So these are definitely shimmers that I feel like work best with your finger and I don't use my fingers. <laughs> so I have to kind of dig into the pan to get the pigmentation that I want for the shimmers, but that's just my thoughts on that. Now, as far as the shadows go, they are very, very pigmented. Like I said, beautiful shades. Let me just go ahead and give you a close-up look. So once again, I'm turning it to the side because I don't want the glare and the lights <laughs> to show on this pretty shiny black background. But same thing, they're lettered A through E, 1 through 5, very easy to um state which shadow you're using so for this look today i just went ahead and did it i didn't talk through it so um if you want to see how i created this look just stay tuned It's very blue heavy. There is a pink, yellow, and an orange, some lime green, blacks and browns to kind of give you some options with looks, which I think is very nice. I love having that in a blue based palette, but these shadows are really, really pretty. So let's go ahead, jump into some swatches, and then we can move on to this look. <music> whole palette swatched it kind of reminds me of an easter hunt <laughs> to be honest with you looking at the swatches it's really kind of making me feel like an easter egg hunt okay this palette is really blue heavy really blue heavy as you can see but there's a few other colors in here sprinkled to give you a little bit of variety i guess but if you don't like blue mm -mm don't buy this palette because <laughs> it's very blue heavy and a lot of the blues look quite similar and when you put them on your eye they'll probably look similar as well so that's just my thoughts on this palette now i really really like this palette it's gorgeous a lot of fun to work with but honestly this is my least favorite out of the three because I have a lot of blue palettes. So this is one that was really, really not necessary for me. <laughs> well, none of them are necessary for me. Let's just be real. But $60 for a palette that's this blue heavy 
is really not necessary to me but it is a beautiful palette now my favorite is volume three <laughs> if y'all couldn't tell and i love purple so you would think volume one would be my favorite but no volume three hands down my favorites it's basically the same formula as volumes one and three in my opinion they all performed the same to me the shimmers not my favorite the mattes highly pigmented and very desirable to work with <laughs> so but anyway if you'd like to see how i created this look today then stay tuned because it's coming up next okay you guys let's go ahead and jump into this gorgeous palette now i want to start out today using the shade d5 which is a really dark navy blue matte shade and i'm just taking a very dense blending brush and tapping that into my crease area but i'm also blending out the edge of it so that it's not such a harsh edge for this shade now i'm going into b5 which is a very very beautiful blue it's like a sea blue shade but as you can see as i'm using it to blend out the edge of that first navy blue they do kind of blend into each other but it does add a nice gradient. Now I'm going into A2, which is a beautiful lime green shadow. In the palette, it almost looks like a really light yellow, but it's actually a very light lime green shade. And I'm using that to blend out the upper portion of my eyelid right beneath my brow bone. Now for my lid, I wanted to see if I could do a cut crease without actually cutting my crease. So I'm taking the shade A3, which is a really pretty lime green shimmer shadow. I sprayed my brush and I'm just kind of packing that shadow onto my lid just to see how much pigment I can get out of it. And as you can see, it's building up very, very nicely. It's a really, really pretty shadow. And I didn't have to cut my crease. I was able to create a cut crease without using any cut crease canvas. Right next to that, I'm going to place the shade A5, which is a turquoise shimmer shade. I did spray my brush for this as well, and I'm just placing that on the outer portion of this cut crease for my lid, blending it into that first lime green shade. And these shimmers blend together very, very beautifully. No problems, I use them with great ease. Now to bring a little bit of the blue aspect back into this look, I'm going into the shade B4 and just using a small fluffy brush to tap that in the outer corner of my lids. And as you can see, it did bring that aspect of blue back into this look. For my lower lash line, I'm going into the shade C3 and I'm just taking a small dense blending brush and dragging that across my lower lash line and to blend that out i'm going back into a2 that lime green and just blending out the edge of my lower lash line so it's not so harsh now to line my lower lash line i'm going in with one of my ColourPop eyeliners and this one is in the color zulu and for my inner corner i wanted to use the shade d4 which is this really bold, bright yellow matte shade. And I'm just tapping that on my inner corner, dusting off a little bit of fallout. To line this look, I'm using my NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. And I'm just doing a small wing for this look today. For mascara, I'm using my The Balm Mad Lash Mascara for my upper as well as my lower lashes. And I'm gonna set this look in place with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. You guys know I love this stuff. And so this is the look for today that I created with this Norvina Volume 2 palette, you guys. I think this palette is very nice, but 
only if you really, really love blue. <laughs> so thank you so much for hanging out with me to create this look. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles.